The EOS 200D is Canon's smallest and lightest DSLR, but it's packed with great features to help you learn more about photography and get more creative. In this video, I'm going to be taking a closer look at the EOS 200D, so let's get started. On the top of the camera, you'll find the on-off switch. Simply switch the switch across one and you'll turn the camera on. Switch it one more time and you'll find the movie functionality on the camera. Next to the on-off switch, you'll find the command dial, where you'll find your automatic modes, your manual modes, and your creative modes, which we'll talk more about in the next video. Also located on the top of the camera is the ISO button, which helps the camera sensitivity in low light, and the display button, which will toggle the LCD screen on and off. Located just above the ISO and the display button is the easy scroll wheel. Simply scroll to the left and the right to change much of the functionality of your camera, and then you'll find the shutter button. Press the shutter button halfway down to focus the camera, and press it the full way down to take your photograph. At the very top of the camera you'll find is the hot shoe. That's where you'll put things like a flash or a microphone or other accessories as such. Just below the hot shoe is the viewfinder. When you look through the viewfinder, you'll be seeing exactly what the lens can see. But there's also extra helpful information in there, such as your f-stop, shutter speed, and exposure compensation. And if that looks a little bit blurry to your eye, you'll also find just above there is the dioptric adjustment. If you wear glasses or have a prescription, just turn the dial to the left and right and look at the information that's in the viewfinder and tell it's sharp. The 200D also features a built-in flash. This button here will help you enable the flash. On the top of the camera is the Wi-Fi button. Whether you have an Android or an Apple phone, we have other helpful videos to help you get connected. So moving towards the back of the camera, you'll find the AF point selection button and your exposure lock. Press that button to lock in your exposure. Here you'll find your exposure compensation, where if you press that down and use the directional dial on the top, you can change your image brighter or darker. The Q button here will activate your LCD screen and the directional keypad here will help you move around that menu. So you'll also notice some of the buttons here are highlighted in blue. The blue triangle will play back your photographs use the directional keypad to scroll back through your photographs. The trash button to erase the images you don't want. You'll also have the magnifying glass, the plus and the minus here. So press that button and hold it down to zoom in on your image. Press the minus magnifying glass to zoom back out. As the 200D is a touch screen, you can also use your fingers to pinch zoom and scroll around the image. The Q button or the quick button will activate the touch screen on the back of the camera which is really great when you need to access things quickly on the run. The EOS 200D also features a flip out LCD screen, which is really great to take photographs of difficult to reach areas such as shooting up and shooting down, or flip it around to take a selfie too. When you want to pack your camera up, turn the LCD screen back to front and close it like this to protect it from scratches. Above the LCD screen are the menu and info buttons. When you press the menu button, you'll find that you've got your red camera shooting settings, the blue playback settings, the yellow function settings, and finally the display level settings, which controls the amount of information you'll see on the LCD screen. On the other side of the viewfinder is the live view button. Press this to enable the camera's live view. In video mode, it will also start the recording feature. When you're in live view, press the info button to cycle through the different LCD options. When you want to change lenses on the EOS 200D, you'll notice that you've got a button on the side of the camera which you press down and turn the lens in an anti-clockwise manner. It comes away like this. When you want to put the lens back on, the EFS lenses are connected white dot to white dot and the EF red dot to red dot. Then just turn the lens until you hear the click. As we walk around the camera, you'll see on the bottom there is actually a battery compartment. Press the little switch to the left, open the battery compartment door there's a little grey button in there, you slide that and the battery will automatically pop out. You'll see on the battery there's a little arrow so you know which way it goes back into the camera and just press it back in there like that. The SD card is also found in this compartment. Now looking around the rest of the camera, the depth of field preview button, if you look through the viewfinder and hold this button down, you'll see the amount of focus that you've got in your photograph. On the side of the camera, you've got your microphone input and you've also got a cable release input as well. On the opposite side of the camera, you've got the HDMI output 
and the USB as well. As we finish looking around the front of the camera, you've got two microphone inputs here and you've got a built-in speaker so you can hear the, what you've recorded when you play back the video. I hope that's helped you learn a little bit more about your EOS 200D. Follow the link on the screen where I'll talk about the advanced features in the next video in our series.